All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new, uh, little bit of a brand new series. Um, we're going to be continuing with the Let's Play of Civilization VI. This time, it's going to be Let's Play Civilization VI, Coupe of the Maori Empire. Um, they start at sea, you get a settler unit, you can automatically enter ocean tiles and all that good stuff. Um, it'll be great, you get a free builder, plus one population. Palace receives plus three housing, plus one amenity. I get uh, science and culture before, you're selling my, before I settle my first city. Um, they get sailing and shipbuilding unlocked at the beginning of the game. Um, the ability to enter ocean tiles and bark units faster. Some extra production. We get the Toa, which is a unique unit. The Pa, which is a unique improvement. And the Mare, which is a unique building. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into this. Now, the settings that we have so far, this, uh, the settings that we have so far for this game, we have heroes, we have dramatic ages, we've got the barbarian encampments, um, that can turn into city-states. We've got all sorts of good stuff, so we're hopefully going to get into this game, hopefully you'll really enjoy it. We basically just got about, probably 70% of the, the extra enabled options. Um, so, like I said in my last series, I don't normally play with the religion victory enabled i usually disable it but for this game and for this uh game series we're going to keep it enabled it's gonna it's gonna be an option for victory or defeat um so we're gonna get into it begin the game as you can see shipbuilding has been discovered um all right so we are in the ocean so let's go this way well that's not great go this way that's not great either. Let's see. It looks like maybe there's a landmass here. Um, it would be nice. Let's. No. Okay. Well, we're hopefully going to encounter some land soon. Uh, there we go. Land. Land ho. Ooh, owls of Minerva. Secret Society. Let's go to the governor's screen. So the Owls of Minerva unlocked by sending an envoy to a city-state, plus one economic policy. Each trade route sent to a city awards one envoy there, which is very good. So we're gonna we're going to do that. Um, and uh, all right, that's not the greatest. Uh, That's a little better. Oh, looks like that. Yeah, look at there. We got a treat. We, we got a tribe, barbarian tribe. They are the fire branch tribe. We got you can spend gold to prevent them from attacking. Um, they'll gain eight points towards city state conversion. I can spend gold to encourage them to attack another nearby civilization or city state. They'll lose five points towards city state conversion. Um, they can be incited once every 15 turns, which is quite cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, all right. I think what I want to do. So I can't settle here. Unfortunately. But I can settle here. Oop, right here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to settle right here. Um. His best. So yeah, settle city here. And we're going to immediately improve the turtles. All hail the turtles. And we'll pop that little goody hut there. The, the little village. Now, we'll go ahead and start working on foreign trade. Um, that will come in handy. And I'm going to go ahead and start working on a second settler. Um, and look at that. Extra tech slot extra slot civic slot which is quite nice all right so we've got pottery um we're gonna go with mining next because we've got some stone there that we can chippy chop down um oh ho, hero discovered as our influence with nalanda grows they have shared their myths and legends we have discovered the hero beowulf you can claim the hero by completing a hero devotion project in any city with a monument building. Only one hero devotion can be made in each city. So hero discovered, mighty warrior of the far north, renowned for his strength and bravery in single combat. 
He ignores movement penalties and hills. Target an adjacent enemy unit with combat strength less than Beowulf's. Beowulf immediately destroys the target. Wow, look at that. That is that is incredible. That, that's great. So yeah, that's a really good find. Really good, really good early find. Now I should let you know, I have never played with heroes before. Um, this is my first game playing with the heroes. Um, so it should be interesting. So it'll hopefully be pretty interesting. Um, I'm hoping that they're they're not too difficult to work with, work to try and work around. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just sleep him on the stone. Once I can harvest the stone, I'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna improve the quarry so I can get the masonry boost. Masonry boost, because that's what's gonna be researched next. Um, for me, I always like to get walls up as soon as humanly possible, because um, early game, if you meet another civilization and they decide to get all trigger happy and try to kill you, um, ah, Hammurabi, which is what we were the last game. Hello, we would love to sample your hospitality. So yeah, Babylon's right there. So the sooner I get walls um, here in this city, um, delegation, uh, the the more secure I will be in that. Let's see. So I'm here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I think we'll settle. Here. Brand new city. Ah, the Split Rock Tribe. You know it will appear near the city. The clan will gain five points towards city-state conversion. Or I can have them attack somebody. So we're just going to say no to that. We're not. We're all right. And we'll get a granary going in this city. Um, we'll deconstruct. And can I purchase anything? I can purchase a scout. Um, if I wait a couple turns, I can purchase a slinger, which is what I want to begin with. Anyway. Now you're ready you to sail for the horn. I've had that uh, the sea shanties from Black Flag stuck in my head for a while. Uh, I really miss those... Uh, those sea shanties, those were those were very good. And my warrior dies. It's not great. So, all right. So, new civic. Um, grow my civilization to six people. I'll be able to do that soon. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Yes. Writing is easy. All right. So here we're gonna go here, and we're gonna get a slinger. Now, the reason we went ahead and got a Slinger is because if we go here, get Ancient Walls immediately, I should be able to attack this warrior, kill it, and get rid of the Split Rock Tribe. Um, but really, I just wanted to get the Archery Boost. Disperse Clan or destroy the Outpost or Raid Clan. Earn 50 gold. The Outpost remain intact and lose 10 points towards the... Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll upgrade. We'll try to get the archer. We're just going to keep bombarding this warrior guy. Because it's absolutely hilarious. Um, receive a free builder. Let's see. Is the settler one already chosen? It looks like it is. Um, the settler one is always the best one. Um, so we'll just do the free builder. I always like the free builder or the free settler. Um, they come in handy. Quite a bit. Um, we'll do ancient walls here as well. And we'll quarry here. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell. And as you can see, you can... we have um, we'll get archery in one turn. We've got the early empire boost, and we have the craftsmanship boost, which is quite nice. Um, we're gonna view these promotions. We're going to appoint. I think we're going to appoint Pingala first. Um, I think it will come in handy. 
a bit more. And voila. Alright, so let's go in here. Let's grab um Let's grab bronze working for a second. And let's build a campus. We're gonna build a campus here. Get our science output boosted a bit. So, if we can kill this barbarian, hopefully we, hopefully, uh, it, nope, it didn't, uh, so we're just going to disperse this and get the error score for that. Um, I think that will come in handy. Looks like we got a boost to astrology, which is quite nice. Find a natural wonder. Um, I don't know what natural wonder that is. I think we got it from dispersing this, though. Without craft. Ah, Zulu. Shaka of the Zulu. It is an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. Military tradition. Um, let's go ahead and go upgrade my Maori Slinger. Now, we're going to switch this over to Astrology. Um, this here, let's see. I can't put it there. I have to put it on Flatland, I guess. Which is fine. Let's, we're going to go and get a monument first. And Archer. And we're going to heal that unit. Ah! Hercules, the great and powerful. Removes Nor's movement in the hills terrain... When located on a friendly district under construction, he immediately completes construction of the district and it costs two charges and ends the turn. I can use when located on an enemy district. He destroys all buildings present and pillages the district. Wow. That's really good too. Heroes are, uh, are powerful. Um, so yeah, we're going to increase the library. We're going to get the state workforce and we're going to keep going. I don't believe in it. Now here, devotion to Beowulf, or devote this city to Hercules. I'm going to go with Hercules, I believe. Um, I think that will be better. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hard research that. See, we have city-states around us, but we have the city of Ulundi and the city of Babylon. And neither of them have walls. Um, a hero walks among us. <laughs> wow. So he's got, let's see, 36 melee strength, which is some, which is ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and try to, let's see here. Let's go down this direction. Suma ulte semani. Excuse me? Did he just tell me what I just thought he said? He said I basically have to follow his every instruction or he will destroy me. And I don't like that at all. Um, but that is a little bit of gold for just simple open borders. So I will do that. It is equally but this barbarian Byron needs to go bye-bye. And we're going to appoint Victor, I believe. Ah, that's it. So they don't like my uh, my choice to go with the owls, owls of Minerva, which is fine. They can choose to act that way all they want to. Alright, so I'm still in the ancient area. Ancient era. Um, I'm going to declare a surprise war on this guy. And we're basically just, we can basically absolutely eradicate and murder him. Ooh, an archer. Or I mean a settler. If I can 
get that settler, I will be in a very good position. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, see. He, uh... All right, yeah. So see this? That was a was a good choice. So that settler. Let's see. I think I can take that settler, or I can take this. So he's got how much movement? He's got three movement, and this is movement cost. Darn it. Come on, man. man. Alright. Let's go ahead and chase this guy down. He doesn't... He can't go very, very far. Oh, oh, he's got another city over here. I see. I see. That's where he's going. Alright, I think I see what's going on. He's trying to escape, and he probably will escape with that, which is fine. Um, I am going to do this, though. Normally, I do um, the uh, Classical Republic. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do... So, I am in a Golden Age. Golden Age policies... Um, I don't think I'm going to use any of those. Let's get rid of this, though. And we'll go with... Let's see. Production towards naval units. We'll go with that one. So let's take this city. We'll keep it. And we should be able to... We're going to reassign Victor down here. Because he only takes three turns to gain a foothold. And I'll be able to heal that unit and we'll be able to bombard that you these units with uh some quality so let's go ahead and get kumasi uh which is over here somewhere looks like um <sighs> all right we're gonna move down yeah, see. He doesn't have much uh, option to attack us. He can't do much. Um, so let's see. So over here, we're going to do a government plaza. And down here, we're going to do... So a lifespan. Oh. Okay, I see. So heroes have lifespans. Very interesting. I guess it makes sense so that... Because, I mean, it's relatively easy to keep these these heroes alive from what it looks like. Um, so how much is Archer? An Archer is 240. I'm never going to get that. So I'm going to buy a Builder. I'm not a Builder. A, a Warrior. And we're going to move the Warrior this direction. Yeah, see... We're going to capture the Settler. Yep. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now we're going to do Warlord's Throne. And he's going to gain this loyalty version. This loyalty bump. So. When it comes to loyalty. Uh, Victor is probably one of the better ones. Um, because he's able to function. Um, he's able to function at. Oh look at that. Himiko. Let's see. You can claim Discover the Hero Himiko. I don't know who Himiko is. Um, Shaman Queen of Ancient Japan, renowned for her wisdom and magical or mystical power. Very cool. Okay, very nice. 
I need to look into her. That's really cool. Um, so uh, I really like ancient Japan and its history and things like that. So I'm going to go into and take a look at that. There was all terrain movement penalties, which is great. Target any adjacent city state. Immediate places of free envoy. Wow, that's really cool. Unused one within this area immediately uses its military. And wow, costs one charm. Wow, that's really quite nice as well. Um, these guys are going to go with me. Uh, I can't really settle a city in here, which is unfortunate. Um, one, two, one, two. Let's see. One, two. Let's go over here. The poets have been. Try to heal this guy up a little bit. Let's try and bring this warrior over here a little bit. We'll keep the settler going that way. Um, if I can get some extra attack onto this guy. That's all I need. Now... From what it looks like, one, two, one, two. If I go here instead, near the Misogis, ah, was it Laodicea? Umukali, very nice. How many, how many? Okay, I've got five turns left with her, my Maori Hercules. Um, don't question it. Great scientists. Ooh, great, great Eurekas to get. Those are some good Eurekas to have. Um, and we're going to settle this guy here. And we're going to get working on a monument. And in this city, we're going to get working on a fee campus. Now, my archer will probably die this turn, yeah, but I'm surrounding him on two sides, and so I've got a really solid... And Nobamba is mine. Goodbye, Shaka Zulu. That's what I'm talking about. One of the best ways to expand early on is to, before any, any other civilization gets walls, is to just crush them with your might, with your military might. Um, they aren't prepared for it oftentimes, and so you can generally get a pretty good selection um, of of cities or a pretty good collection of cities um, early on in game. So I've got four turns left. Um, let's move him over here. Move this warrior into this city. Now, I'm going to start using his charge. I've only got him for four turns left. I'm going to use his charges. I'm going to complete that district. And then we're going to go... Grab a library. We're going to heal this guy. Now, I can build... Let's see here. I can build a theater square here. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move Hercules over to this city. I've lived through some because he's got two turns left. So this is turn. I'm going to continue working on Machu Picchu though. Ah, he will come in handy. Bonus science uh, and bonus great people points, which will be quite quite useful. Um, I would like to have that ship that's over here. Creates with the. Yeah, 
man, that's really cool. That is a really powerful ability to just automatically complete. The time when Hercules walked among the people of the Maoris come to an end. With faith, we will see them again someday. All right, if here expires or is killed, they can be recalled by purchasing them with faith in the city where their monument is located. Rehaul heroes return with their lifespan and action charges refreshed, but the faith cost increases with each appearance. That's really quite nice. That's a really quite a uh, beneficial ability. Please don't kill him. I want to... Darn it. My guy, all I'm asking you for is for just... Let me sit by you for one turn, and I can utilize you. Let's see if I can tempt him. Oh. Darn. Okay, well, we'll send this guy up here then, I guess, to get some different... Uh... Those who All right, defensive tactics is good. Um, We'll keep doing Hunza. Alright. Great people. Let's see. Libraries instantly builds a library. So let's see. Do I have a library down here yet? I don't think I do. Yeah, no. Okay. So we'll just move in over here. We'll just build a library in this area here. This is about to get some walls. We get a builder in these pyramids, which is quite good. I'm going to just start improving. Actually, I'm going to go repair these turtles first. Um, here I'm going to get actually let me cancel that um let's go ahead and start researching so Nobamba we're going to devote to Himiko build a library And I get a free ship, which is what I wanted anyway. I wanted a free boat. Um, I could, I'd rather, much rather would have had the Byream, but a Quadream will be just fine. Um, we're going to pass on Hannibal Barca. We are going to upgrade that. We're going to place that here. Repair the turtles. Um, then we're going to start building some, I'm going to put a trader here and I'm going to buy, not going to buy anything yet. Once I can buy a builder, I will buy a builder and repair some stuff down there. So, so I got Hercules in this city. So let's devote this city to no, let's. Let's keep working on other stuff. We'll do the Statue of Zeus. I think that will be a very good choice for me. And we'll go ahead and grab some naval tradition. Uh, and we'll come over here. Increase faith output in this city. Once Machu Picchu is finished, I will start working on a faith item. Let's improve the ivory. And we'll recruit a scientist. Very good options. Alright, thank you for watching. So yeah, we'll stop right there. Um, turn 98, thank you for watching uh, this video. Um, go ahead and get Machu Picchu set up. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in this video and move on to the next video. So that way we'll have plenty of time. Um, I'm going to try and keep these videos down below 30 minutes or around the 30 minute mark instead so that I can uh, 
make it easier for you guys to be able to watch them. You guys don't have to sit for a whole hour and watch a whole video or skip through the video or anything like that. So that's 30 minute video. Um, I will see you guys next time where we pick up playing as Coupe of the Maori. Thank you and goodbye.